In this video, ladies and gentlemen, I show all of you people watching this how I flipped money easily and you people can do at home um, by using Pokemon. The Pokemon store London has just opened. It's the first one in Europe. People all around the world are coming to this specific, not Pacific, specific store just to purchase, you know, some Pokemon goods. And bear in mind before you watch this video, disclaimer, I'm not a big fan of Pokemon. All I know is Pikachu. That's probably about it. But the reason why I've done this, shout out to my brother. He actually showed me how to flip money using this because these items I buy and I sell are very, very rare and exclusive essentially because it's the London collection. So, have a look at this. Purchase your tracks today. Let's do this Pokemon Go. Let's give me throwback right now. So yes, we are here in London, Westfields for the opening. Well, actually not the opening, it's a couple days after. My brother actually went there and told me about this, but the opening of Pokemon. Uh, it's a store basically where you can buy all sorts of products and play the games in there. And the queue is massive, like it doesn't look big on the things I just showed you, but there's a line for another line for another line. And if you people know Supreme, it's essentially like that and it's just long man. So I'm just waiting around looking at shop while uh, you know the other people are in line. We're gonna wait for it to die down a bit, but this is how you flip money easily. I don't even care about Pokemon, let's be honest. The only thing I've ever been involved in Pokemon is Pokemon Go because it was a trend, you know, just like flicking on a phone. Uh, outside, Which, to be honest, it done well. Like Pokemon Go done wonders for the world. Let's be honest. Like nowadays, people stay inside, play Fortnite. People actually went outside for that. But anyway, this is an easy way for you kids or adults or anyone watching this, male, female, anything in between, to make some easy money. But you buy like different products, like bags, hoodies, and you buy them for like about 20 quid, sell them for about 80 quid, sell them for about 150, and get about five items you can easily make about north of 400 to 500 pounds 600 700 dollars for you americans out there so definitely recommend this and i think as well loads of people from europe and all over the world are coming here and i think if you look on google and youtube there's loads of videos of this was packed when it the first day when it was opening on the weekend on saturday or sunday i believe because it's like other than like you know asia and japan and china and them sort of places they don't really have it in europe at all I'm, i i do believe they do have it in america but not really they don't have it in any stores in europe so this is like a big thing for you know the pokemon fan base and people are looking at me now like what am i doing like if you think about it what is pokemon i've just been deep in it he's just like a a yellow bunny comment down below what is pokemon i mean not pokemon what is pikachu like he's just an odd specimen oh as you can see all these people are walking out with the goodies in their hands as you can see look 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 at the pokemon bag look at it the beauty the money <laughs> Oh, here it is. Easy money, easy money. And we are home, finally. Oh, all that way, going to London, going to Westfields to get the Pokemon stuff. And we secured the bag, what can I say? I'm gonna be showing you now all the things I got. I'll probably wait in line just to give you a, you know, a reference. About, an, about maybe two hours, but you know, that's because we got there earlier. If we got there about 12, we would have waited a lot longer. 
to get in the queue. So now was the time to head over to the trusted site of eBay, list all the items I got from the Pokemon store in London, write the descriptions, take the pictures, and post them. And that's exactly what I did. Skirt, skirt. So currently I have these under my bed. These are all the bags of stuff we managed to get from Pokemon. And these two have sold. All right, so now is the time where we call up my brother and you know ask him to actually list the items which to be honest I, I should be doing this you should be doing this if you both the items but luckily I have a brother who I'm telling him to list it because he's at uni at the moment and he actually has already listed his items so he's basically just relisting them the quantity to two or three however many hoodies t-shirts mats all of the products uh, merchandise we got um, on eBay and eBay is uh, the best bet to go you know you got your guarantee I wouldn't really mess around and fuck around with Facebook market or Gumtree because it can be a bit dodgy you know it's good for buying things but for selling it can be very dodgy so watch out for scammers let's give him a call here we go this is the Vodafone voicemail service are you good bro? Uh, yeah I'm good how are you? Well, hopefully when you're doing this, you have a brother who actually answers his phone. All right, so what is going on? What is going on now is that I'm gonna I'm expecting a call from my brother, hopefully in the next couple of minutes, um, and he's going to be explaining to us people. He doesn't even know that I'm recording this when it's all this video. Uh, how much money we're going to be making off, you know, the Pokemon store, the London Pokemon store, the items that we bought. Because that is the reason at the end of the day that you all clicked on this video. By the way, while we're here, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that. Inzingi is back. Come on, new room and that. Let's go. So my brother will be explaining. He's do doing the side of selling all the items, which to be honest, I should be doing them. I'm being lazy because I'm filming this video. He doesn't even know I'm filming this video. That's how um, that's how real and legit this actually this whole you know buying and selling from Pokemon is. And I found out about this because of him. He went to the Pokemon store before me, and then I decided to go there and, you know, decided to be a copycat. But fair play to him. It is a good investment. I don't know how he found it. I think it was through Twitter, Twitter or something like that. Oh, my God. So, I'm still waiting for this infamous phone call now. Oh, thank God, he's finally calling, let's answer. Yo. Yeah, Josh, you good, yeah? Yeah. Alright, so I want to talk about this, this Pokemon stuff now. How much profit, for example, is in each sort of item that we bought? It's like, let's say like the pin, for example. We bought that for how much? I don't know, how much pay for it? Uh, I think it was like, was it £5? So it's five pound, and how much does it sell for? What's the resale price on that? I can't look, but look, I think it's like fifty or sixty. Like so 50. that's ten times. Exactly. That that's that's really sick profit. And then what about stuff like the? What was the other rare collector's items that we got? So we got like the umbrella. Pikachu that was, sells for about hundred, so that's five times profit. Yeah. How much did we buy the Pikachu's for? Forty, fifty. Twenty. Twenty. 20. 20 and they sell for how much? Yeah, the PT sold for 100. The umbrellas sell for 60. Ooh. Jeez. Sell for We're going to get some sick money from this. I've not had time how to. Did you, how did you even find out about this? Just expl like, how did you even find out? I don't understand. Well, uh, I, wanna, I want you to work out and send me how much everything everything costs in total to buy your stuff and my stuff, well, all of them and my stuff, and how much profit is there if you sell everything. Yeah. But well, why, is it, why is it so exclusive? Why? Yeah. Because. Uh, it's the first Pokemon shop in Europe. I mean, there was a lot of people there from the other countries, so yeah, I can imagine. It's the first, first official shop in Europe, so obviously people all over Europe are coming. Yeah. And, you know, queuing at whatever time, like 2 in the morning, whatever. Yeah, well, I'll let you get back to your uni work anyway. And then, GG, your, your stress career. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, a bit. Cheers. Alright, so we didn't really get much from him. I think he was eating or on a train or something or doing his uni lectures, which is, you know, fair play to him. So yeah, in terms of the items selling that we did get from Pokemon in London store, we have 
currently found out from my brother because thank you for my brother he's the one actually listing the items because he's already got the pictures of the ones he's bought so he's just relisting them um but we have currently sold all the pikachus we have these two and a bunch of others i think we had like five or six more that we've sent out so we've got package these now send them off get our money obviously make our money back from the money we spent because we are looking at this video and making money through the profit so yes you do need to make money you need to have money to invest into this but the ROI, the return on investment, is very high for this sort of things. And also, these this has gone up since the first day when my brother listed these. He actually upped the price up because they, he knows the selling. And it's, it's almost like you control the price. Obviously, you can't put it ridiculously too high. But because it's so, the supply, the demand for it is so high. And this, like, there's not that many of them. There may be like a few hundred or a few thousand. And people are wanting these all across the world. Literally, even today, going on Twitter, you can look on Twitter now, people all over the world, still to this day, a week after it's opened, or a couple of weeks after, are queuing up outside Westfields uh, in London. And everyone's really invested into this, you know, like whether they are Pokemon fans or people that are looking into this and actually trying to do what we're doing, which is, you know, make some decent money off this. And I think when I was there, I don't want to judge, but there were some... A, there was quite a few elders, there was even behind us in line, there was an elder, this elderly couple and I just doubt they would be into Pikachu unless they're buying it maybe for, you know, a granddaughter or something or a grandson but I think that most likely they would have known about this in terms of, you know, the interest, the value it holds once on it's on resale and similar to Supreme in that way, like, the retail, the retail price is not, it's not, it's not that bad compared to what you resell it for and it's because it's exclusive. Anything like this is exclusive, same with sneakers. That's a great market to get into when you talk about making money, but you do need to have that money, of course, to start off and buying it. Also, if you haven't already, please like this video, smash that like button, let's get this to 20 likes. Hit that subscribe button too. If you haven't already, join it in Zingy Nation where we upload every single day. If you do wanna see more videos on how to make money, maybe let me know in the comment section down below. Also hit that post notification bell too. So, according to calculations, and these are rough estimates by the way, but from what is sold, I've been told by my brother and also my calculations as well, on the Pokemon store in London, we have spent roughly 600, 500 to 600 pound uh, in the store in everything we bought, which is, to be honest, it's quite a lot of money. So I'm guessing, you know, if you don't have that much money to start up with from investment, you can even buy stuff like the pins that are only like five, 10 quid and sell for like 60, 70 quid to make decent profit off it. But we ended up spending f between 500 and 600 pound on the Pokemon store for investment. And what we have got out of it, and so far out of that money, our profit, and so far out of that money, we have made roughly, I think, 940 or 50 pound, and that's just so far. Not everything has sold. We haven't sold everything, but by the time everything has been sold, because there's a lot of watches, there's a lot of people bidding uh, and people asking questions about the product. So hopefully they'll be sold in the next week or so. We would have made uh, basically around 1,100, 1,200 pounds. So almost doubling our money essentially, just with Pokemon. A rough estimate so far, we have made between you know 250 and to 400 pound profit, and it's you know it's difficult to work out because not everything is sold. But by the end of it, we would have made about 500 to 600 pound profit, complete profit, which means you get your money back. You get your so much money back, whether that being if you spend 500 pound or whether that being you spend five pound, you will 100% get your money back by doing this. Obviously, if you're watching this now, you better hurry up because the store's not going to be there for long. So try it out if you're in the UK. If you're not, if you're anywhere else in a in another country, America, Canada, wherever you are, Brazil, um, just fly over. You know, fly over is is worth it. I would say it's worth it. You know, if you are, I mean, I mean, realistically, if you are planning on having a holiday in the UK, definitely visit um, the West. Field store. I'm gonna actually leave a link in the description so you people know exactly where it is as well, where to find it. It's just unreal, it's amazing. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, Pokemon, like I said before, just some Pikachu little. Oh, uh, wait, can we just go? What is Pikachu? Like, he's just like a yellow bunny, realistically. But anyway, I'm waffling here. Uh, this has been a crazy video.
Thank you all for watching. This is an easy way on how to turn a small investment into a large paper. Secure that bag. That was a terrible idea. And I guess you learn something every day. And today I learned you can't make it rain with pound coins. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe down below. In Zingy years back. In Zingy to 10 mil. <clears throat> Okay, all right, scrap that. Not 10 mil, but in Zingy to 5k. No, in, Zing in Zingy to 5k. In Zingy to 2k, yeah. In Zingy 2k19. That's what we want to do. In Zingy 2k19. We want to get your boy on 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2019. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time when I upload. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Peace. Oh, yeah, also, might as well just follow all my social medias as well. Link in description. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground. Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around. Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on you enemies, dead and buried in the ground. Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found. Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around. Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds. I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds. And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around. I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown. Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown.